So my left arm, uh, mm -hmm. it's in pain for five months, and I couldn't hold anything like a glass, mm -hmm. like a coffee cups, and it's in pain for five months. It's just that. Okay, so this is not even full, not even close to full over here. See how's that one? Kind of heavy to me. Okay, so it's kind of heavy too. So where do you feel any problems? Where do you feel the problem? I feel here it's like a, I, I don't have an urge to hold. Can you point to us, show us where do you feel on your wrist? This one. Right in the spot right there? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I feel in pain connecting to here. Okay. What's next? What else can I help you with? And my leg. Uh, it's just also in pain. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's connected to my arm. I don't know. Oh, that's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. All right. Uh, oh, actually, I believe you mentioned during our consultation with the left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Something that's bothering you yes, as well. Yes, left shoulder connected to my arm. So it's everything. So we're talking. Yeah, about it's my left side. Everything. If I reach up or mm -hmm. something. Kind of sore and I in pain when I sleep it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so right now we're just looking for is there any abnormal temperature going on. We found something here. And I do see there's some edema around here as well. So let's see if there's a chronic nerve there. And yes, there is. Small, but it's there. Very tiny. We have a chronic nerve here as well. Right there. So in the Gaza method of chiropractic, we always try to focus on the whole entire body as a whole. And I want to take a look at the foundation. Why? Because no different from like the famous leaning tower of Pisa. If the foundation is compromised like a domino effect, it will affect everything from the ground upwards. But even though she's complaining about neck pain in his left shoulder, I do want to check, okay, let's see what's going on with the rest of the spine over here, and also especially down here as well. So now bear in mind, because she's petite, the swelling and edema is not as evident, but I can put my finger on it. See how fluid this is? It's all filled up. There's like a water bed over here. Okay. Let's check this. This is fine. Sacred iliac is fine. Not much edema there. That's pivoting just fine. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. How's that feel right there? Yeah. This one over here is moving just fine. This isn't. Number four, that's the problem. Yes, it is. And again, because she's petite, palpation is much more difficult. So it's going to be very, very subtle to feel that edema. We found something right here. Yes. Yeah. All right. Lean back. So you don't, can you relax these hands? See, this is fluid filled right here. 
not too much here, but it is fluid filled right here on the right hand side. How does that fall right there? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's your sixth circle. That's not moving too well. Everything else is moving just fine. Let's go on this test. Now, patient-wise, you have some edema on the right-hand side of this of this first cervical transverse process. So you somewhat fixate it on the right-hand side. So this is compensation over here. I believe from the sixth cervical. All right, let's go take a look at the films. All right, so this is what I found over here. It's this fourth lumbar over here. That's the one that's in trouble that we did correct. Now, what's interesting enough is that your fifth lumbar, all right, is trying to become part of the foundation over here. But it's still independent. That's what we see over here. Mm -hmm. See, there's this, just like you see a space over here, mm -hmm. there's a space over here as well. Mm -hmm. If there is a connection over here, and there's one, another connection right over here. Mm -hmm. So it is attached, right, and it's articulating with the sacrum itself. So it tells us that this fifth lumbar, the biomechanics of it, is going to be interesting. And there's no exact guarantee how it's going to behave. So in essence, what happened is, it forces this bone line above, the fourth lumbar, which is not as designed to do so, to start taking the responsibility of this. So that's why this one, over time, all that little micro trauma, the stress to it, eventually, like the final stroke of the camel's back, it's going to knock it out. That's why we start to see the way your spine is start deviating towards curving this way, mm -hmm. and there's another curve towards that way as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to make this more stable first. Mm -hmm. This may explain why your neck, you feel the way it does. Mm -hmm. It's sort of from here, actually. So we need to address this one first. Mm -hmm. right? you, also, you also found something at the sixth dorsal over here. We may need to correct that one. I'm going to double check after we correct the fourth lumbar. Mm -hmm. We correct this. And your sixth cervical, that's also we need to correct as well, right? And the left, in terms of the left shoulder, I'm going to double check that one. But this AC joint looks like slightly misaligned over here, and the scapula as well. Right. Okay, so the wrist itself, this is what's interesting. I want to see it in proper alignment. You're supposed to have two arcs. We have one arc over here and another arc over here. This one has one way below than it's supposed to be doing. It's supposed to line up with these two, do not. This is also supposed to line up with them. That's not doing that either. It ain't even this one, also not properly aligned either. It's not properly aligned with this one, and this is also not aligned either. So, what I'm seeing is this. This is for. We use this example over here, okay? We're flipping things around. This is actually the right wrist. It gives you an idea just like this. It's this bone over here. This one I see is, this is misaligned, okay? And also, this middle bone over here, the lunate, that's so what this is over here, that's misaligned, that I need to double check on you. Scaphoid, that's what, over here. That's what will explain why you felt this also. Try to carry it, and it feels uncomfortable. So the scaphoid also, potentially misaligned as well. Those are the ones we need to address. So um, uh, last year, and I had a problem with this, like uh, uh, we drove from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So I think the long time the tra travel, and I feel my back pain like mm -hmm. so for so long. I went to uh, like a downtown one the chiropractor, and uh, mm -hmm. she did fixed and. Uh, when you mentioned this one, I just remember I did mm. happen to me, like my back connecting to the leg, the left mm. side. The well, it makes a lot of sense because it's okay. like so, so long. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, once again, you know, because that fork lumbar is mm -hmm. not designed to do that kind of biomechanical stress. Mm -hmm. So doing a very long drive from LA to San Fran, yeah, that's yes. going to strain it yes. quite a bit. So let's go ahead and let's correct that profile. Okay. Bring this out. Levers. Hmm? It's levers. 
Don't worry about it. I got you right here. No one has ever folded this hand right here. Got you. Okay. Now, all Just watch right there. There's a piece. There's other piece. Come on. Okay, come on. Clue me in. How's the little back right now? Do you notice that's different? Sure, yes. Oh, sure. What do you feel? I feel it less tension. Less tension. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's good. Now let's check what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little bit stuck right mm -hmm. there. I still yes. need to be corrected. Remember, mm -hmm. my hands. That all seems to be correct as well. Okay. Right this way, please. Okay, over here. Okay, so this way, please. Oh, please, so this way. Mm hmm. That's okay. And so over here. Now bear in mind, as you notice, I put my finger and I trace it all the way down while she was going down. It's because PT patients, you have to be very super precise. There's just no leeway for any errors because things can move around a little bit. And on top of that, PT patients, you've got to be put just the right amount of force, right amount of direction, right? Like that. All right. And while you have it down here, Check your shoulder. Let's gap. And just never slam it. Can't get that one a little more. There's a piece. Much more realized. Nice. I don't feel any. Alright. Let's 
check that wrist. How's the wrist? I can hold. Yeah, that's good. Yes. I can hold before was I feel like a heavy. Now mm -hmm. I can feel. You wanna know why? Yes, please. Oh, we're definitely gonna tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you right over here. Mm -hmm. It's that six circle uh -huh. over here. Uh -huh. right? That particular nerve, just like you see over here, just uh -huh. right, same thing as the foot left, okay? Yeah. That nerve, it gotta go all the way down to there. Okay? Uh -huh. Same deal, go mm -hmm. all the way down to here. Mm -hmm. right? So that's why we had to address it from here. That's when you start to notice, oh, hey, the wrist seems to feel a little more stronger, mm -hmm. right? This same nerve also deals partly do with the shoulders as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what you may experience. Hey, the left shoulder, mm -hmm. it's different, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's take a look at that wrist. Okay, let me get the pictures of that. So we'll do it as well. Pop that up. There it goes. Start to sink in. There we go. Good. Now we can get the scaffold in. Bingo. There it goes. Now let's get this first medical. There it go. Bingo. Got it. All right. Now give it a try. Easier to hold. How much easier? Um, like a one from one to ten, maybe eight. Hey, that's pretty darn good. Yeah. So now I can hold it before the beginning. Uh -huh. I couldn't hold it at like one second. I I mm -hmm. gave it to you, I remember? I remember. Now I, I can yeah, I can hold. I said that before I came to visit to you, I cannot even hold a coffee cup, like mm -hmm. a cup of coffee. I can you not use this hand. Yes. Happy? Yes. Very right. happy. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs>